Hello, this is Jack from tofluency.com and welcome to this English lesson where we're going to look at four of the major differences between British and American English when it comes to pronunciation. So we're going to look at these differences. I'm going to show you lots of examples, some graphs as well, which I think are really interesting. And this is just going to help you understand the major differences between these two variants of English. So just before we do go into these differences, know that I am originally from the UK, but I've been living in America for nearly nine years. So I do have some experience of the, the two variants of English and I'm going to try my best to put on my American voice in this lesson, but don't be too harsh on me if you think it's not very good. So the first difference is the R sound. And generally speaking, American English has the R sound more than it does in British English. So. American English is rhotic and British English is non-rhotic. And that just means if you use the R sound or if you don't. So an example is car, car. So in British English, you'll hear car, no R sound at the end. In American, it's more like this, car, car. So when the R, follows a vowel sound, it's often omitted in British English. We're going to look at a graph in a moment, which really highlights where in the UK this happens. But after a vowel sound, it's often omitted. For example, heart, park. Whereas American English, you will hear heart, park. Another example of when it's dropped is after the schwa sound at the end of words. So for example, in British English, you'll hear computer, lawyer, sister. Whereas in American English, you'll hear a slight R sound at the end, computer, lawyer, sister. The first graph I want to show you is this one. And it shows the difference between the 1950s and 2016 using data in the UK and highlighting how many people pronounce the R in arm or arm. So this is talking about non-roticity. So if it's green, then there is no R. If it's red or orange, then there is an R. And you can see how much this has changed since the 1950s. So the Southwest and the Northeast and the Northwest, where I'm from, used to pronounce the R in certain words. Whereas the other part of the country, they didn't. But nowadays you can see this divide where England and Wales is non-rhotic. So they don't pronounce the R. Whereas Ireland and Scotland more or less do, or in some areas it's about 50%. So when people say that the UK is non-rhotic, that's not entirely true. In the US, you can see there are only pockets where the R is pronounced. So in Louisiana, around Charleston and Savannah, near Richmond, Virginia, Norfolk and Hampton, New York and also New England. So generally speaking, the US is non-rhotic, but in some areas, the R is left out like it is in England. Now the next sound is on your screen now. And this is a vowel sound which is common in British English, but you won't really hear this in American English. And I'm going to show you some examples of what vowel sound Americans use instead of this sound. But just listen to these words, hop, long, lot. So it's the o oh sound, lot, oh, oh. Let's go to the Cambridge Dictionary to look at what Americans say instead of this sound. So here we are on the Cambridge Dictionary site and let's listen to hop and hap. Hop, hap, hop, hap. So you can see the difference. Hop, hap, hop, hap. 
and with long 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 and my favorite one is water so look at the differences here and listen for the differences too water 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 so water 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 the vowel sound is different the d sound in american english and also the r at the end of the word now before you might have noticed that i said long and this is the ng sound but where i am from we tend to use the g at the end instead of the ng sound okay so the standard version is long but we tend to say long and this is also true in some areas of america such as new york so that's just a, a very regional difference when it comes to this sound the next one is the t sound and in american english the t sound is often pronounced as a short d sound in the middle of certain words for example in the uk we say katie katie there's a strong t sound katie but in american english it's more like katie katie and i find that british people who move to the us soon start doing this so this is the first americanization if that's the right way to say it of british people when they move to america so they'll start to say katie instead of katie another example is butter so in american english you'll say butter and there are two differences here first the t sound sounds like a short d but also did you notice the r at the end so again british butter 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 now the final one is used at the beginning of this word so just say this word and then we'll look at the differences in a second so how do you say this in american english the t sound is used tuesday tuesday whereas in british english we use the ch sound tuesday tuesday i have found myself saying tuesday instead of tuesday again this is another influence of living in america for so long there are certain words and sounds that you start using once you get used to the accent another example of this is tuna tuna whereas in the uk you will hear tuna tuna okay question time i actually have two questions the first one is this which accent do you prefer so do you prefer to listen to british english or american english and think about which one is easier for you as well when answering this question and then the second question is can you think of any more differences between these two variants of english so think about it in terms of pronunciation especially can you think of any other differences so you can put some words down there you can put some sounds whichever way you want to do it just highlight them in the comment section below and if you have found this lesson useful then please like and share it with your friends thank you again for watching and i'll speak to you soon bye for now